Hello everybody, this is Apostle Fred Berry, and uh, I have voted. I have done my duty. It's my last day in America, and you can see my little sticker there. Look at that. There we go. It's upside down for you, but it says I voted. And so I have voted, and so I want to just encourage you today to vote. Now, let me tell you what I've done. So you can know, you can say Fred has been transparent, okay. I did not vote for Hillary Clinton. Hello? Uh, I can't vote for Hillary Clinton because of the blood and all of the other issues with abortion. But that's not the main issue. The the main issue for those of us that are African American is what is our future going to look like? And so you're going to have to really make a decision. I know... Uh, you're enamored with all of the things the Democratic Party said it can do for you, but Obamacare and all of the things that are happening with the Democratic Party are going to kill us. It's going to kill the nation. And so we're going to have to make a decision uh, not based on personality, because Donald Trump is not a great personality. I personally like him. He's my kind of guy. He's a straight-up guy. Uh, Whether he's a redneck or not, we don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. He's straight. And so if you don't like you, don't like you. If he doesn't like you, do like you. You know, those are the kind of guys I like. You know, I can deal with people like that. Even if they're racist, I can deal with somebody straight like that, okay? Because then I know exactly what they're going to do because they're predictable. And so I'm saying this to you who are uh, contemplating this election. It's not just about the personality, whether you want a woman in president or a man in president. It really is about the future, and you got to really look at the uh, future uh, Supreme Court judges. You got to look at the future uh, laws that will be enacted in our nation, uh, particularly religious liberty. And so I, I'm encourage you to, to make a decision based on the future, not about you, but about the kids. What about what do you want your kids to be involved with in the future? Uh, they're pushing right now euthanasia here in California. People are being asked to just uh, be uh, let to die. Uh, they're pushing legalizing marijuana. Okay, now you may it may be cute for you because you're older, but you know you got kids that are 10, 11, 12 years old. If marijuana is legalized, marijuana, marijuana will be everywhere. You're